welcome back to another schoolie how-to video uh, we left off with putting LEDs on the front and back and now we are going to start I guess we're gonna call it framing so I know you've seen a lot of people attaching wood to the ceiling attaching wood to the walls and I'm gonna show you how we do that so basically what we're gonna do is we take two by two and we place it on the ribs of the bus all over and we attach it and then we attach the wood to the two by twos that we attach to the bus ribs and frame so I'm gonna go show you out here what that kind of looks like I like chop saws if you don't got a chop saw you got to use what you got to use and we're gonna take measurements of what we want our two by two pieces to look the two by two is a square looking wood stuff we're gonna cut it to the sizes that we desire then we're gonna go over here and to attach it we are gonna use a little bit of construction glue on the wood against the metal in the wood right and we're also going to pre-drill now if you've never done this before you're gonna find out real quick that sometimes self-tapping screws and regular drill bits do not go through that heavy-duty steel very easily do yourself a favor invest in very very good very very nice drill bits this is a special set of bits that I have that'll cut through heavy steel like nothing so I'm gonna pre-drill the heavy-duty steel with this and then I'm going to use these Tex 2 inch self-tapping screws so the wood is gonna have a little bit of that construction glue I'm gonna set the wood up there I'm gonna pre-drill through and then stick the self-tapper through it and we're gonna stick those two by twos everywhere that we're gonna put wood up and then basically you know the the wood is held up by the, the self-tapping screw in place and it's also you know connecting the two pieces the wood and the metal but then the construction glue will set up and it's just a super super strong bond that's pretty much what we're doing over and over and over again so i wanted to talk you through how we do it and then we're going to get up in here and we're going to start attaching two by two framing so that we can put wood back up to reskin the bus let's get into it y'all so you see these curves in the school bus obviously we can't cut a straight piece of wood to kind of go there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a bunch we're just gonna cut a bunch of little chunks like this and we're going to attach them the same way that we attach the stuff down there and just kind of puzzle piece it like this 
all the way down the curve. That is our plan. So that's going to take a lot. So we're going to go cut a whole bunch of these before we even start hanging them up. And this is definitely probably a day's job by itself. Let's get on that. <laughs> have to do it over and over and over and over and over again so the one thing you got to keep in mind is you hope you don't gonna you're not gonna run out of your screws and you have enough two by twos you're gonna be burning through batteries and it's it's pretty gnarly and you want to set aside like a day or two just to frame the roof and I, don't know, I think a solid day tomorrow I should be able to get that roof done, maybe two, geez. It's just, it's just over and over repetitive, time consuming. And we're gonna, I'll see you guys the next time. I'm, I'm gonna close this video for right now. And we're gonna keep going until this is done so I can show you what it looks like. But that's the end of the work day today. I'm gonna clean up and I'll see you guys when I fire the camera back on. Switch room. <laughs> hey everybody so we got we got Shane here he's hopping in this video and he's gonna be here for I think what three four more days four more days and he's gonna be helping smash this bus out right here so I'm really excited to see how fast we're gonna move with two people oh buggy yeah and one of the reasons I really want to work with this guy is because this guy has a, a van conversion business right here so <laughs> homeboy knows what's up so i don't gotta like guide him the whole so we could literally just be doing separate missions accomplishing two things at once i'm stoked i'm gonna see if we can try and build out this whole interior in four days i feel like i've been insulted <laughs> <laughs> well i mean you're still learning bro you know what i'm mean? like this guy i don't got i don't gotta show him how to use a crate like the, yeah it, we just flow all that stuff adds up real fast oh, yeah the experience for sure so i'll put links for shane stuff all in the description uh he you do buses too right yeah yeah so he does vans and buses and he actually does work on people's stuff unlike me so <laughs> if you want somebody to build your stuff definitely check shane out we're gonna get into the work day let's get it yo yeah. He definitely has a different work style than me. He's more uh, assembly line orientated or whatever. So, uh, if we're taking bets, because I'm going to go to town, get an alignment on the big bus, I think he'll have all this framing up, and he might even have this thing insulated and rewalled by the time we get back. We'll both see. So, I'm, I'm stoked to see what happens. Oh, 
Shane is back there crushing it. I think that dude's putting two by twos up 10 times faster than I was. <laughs> so course. I guess that's the power of doing push ups. Now, I'm gonna start putting some of this Havelock wool in the walls while he's doing that so we could be double teaming it, getting two things done at once. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the game and let's get it. Maybe Ember I can't even supervise. <laughs> Good morning ladies and gentlemen, it's a whole new day and I ended up having to go to town to do errands yesterday and Shane was up here by himself and he absolutely crushed it. So we're going to go in here and I'm going to kind of show you what he got done. So as you can tell, he kill Matt the whole ceiling and kill Matt is like, it kind of helps insulate too a little bit. So we are putting Havelock up there. But the really cool thing about kill mat, it's like made out of butyl tape, so it like seals stuff up too. So anyways, we kill mat of the whole ceiling just to help kind of seal it up, give it a little more kind of oomph in insulation wise. And he got all the two by two framing, the main stuff done here. He got this back wall thing patched up, insulation behind there, insulation. So he basically got all the walls skinned up here. I mean, homeboy kind of killed it, you know what I'm saying? And then the only thing that kind of messed us up was, you know, I'm the business owner and I didn't have enough dang kill mat laying around here. So we did a rush order and my friends in Eugene actually have a box. So we're saved. <laughs> and I'm going to grab that at the end of the workday today or I'm going to send somebody to go get it so that we can get the floor. So basically... Shane killed it and I'm going to tell you what we're going to end up doing today. Um, we're going to finish doing the little pieces and bring the 2 by 2s all the way down to here. All the way across so we can have our ceiling have something to attach to. And then we're going to patch all these holes like this with wood. We're going to do something up here. We're basically going to get the whole thing skinned, right? And then I'm going to start prepping it for paint. And that's kind of going to be the whole day is just getting everything kind of insulated, skinned back up, except for the ceiling, so I can paint everything in here. And the thing about that is you see how, you know, you've got different color wood here, there, there, there. The paint kind of brings it all together. Um, and we're going to give it a nice fresh coat of white. The reason we're not doing the ceiling is because the, white, or the ceiling is going to be a natural wood. So I don't want to get over spray on the wood. Um, so that's kind of our mission for today. Just kind of a little bit of touch up wood stuff and kind of get stuff covered up. And then we're going to paint. Uh, so by the end of this video, you should be seeing this thing get sprayed. Maybe put a ceiling up. Maybe, maybe I'll take it there. This will be the whole Shane video. You know what I'm saying? So I figure we'll get this thing painted today and then tomorrow we'll get the ceiling up. And this thing will start looking like something fast. So. I've been talking a little bit. Let's get into it. You know what I'm saying? Let's get this work going. One thing I want to mention real quick. There's a lot of weird bus angles. And I feel like a lot of people take the sheet metal off when they get these and just throw it away. And not think about how they're going to refill it. This is kind of one of those angles right here. Like, it's kind of funky, right? So, I just kept this. I'm going to prep it and repaint it. But, 
I keep all the metal like right here I would at least use it as a template and then we kept this right here use it as a template or put it back up just a little hack you know any of them little funky shapes maybe don't throw that away Good morning. We uh we didn't film much yesterday because we were just busting our little behinds. But we got the thing. I don't even know where we left off, but we got the thing completely walled, insulated on the bottom, and painted. So let's go in and check it out. I already pulled some of the paper just so we can kind of see what it's gonna look like. But as you can tell, painting because it was all wood pieces here. Uh, painting all the wood and everything around it to match really brings it all together. All the metal was done in like two coats because you know there's already color there, white. The wood took a lot to soak up. The other thing I noticed is that was a face of wood. Look how smooth that is. I think this was the back. We just kind of missed it somehow. Um, but I think it looks freaking great. So I'm going to finish unmasking this so we can kind of see what it's going to look like. Let's do it. All right, the homie Shane is pre-gaming on the subfloor. We're going to kind of we're going to kind of split missions right now. I'm going to start getting metal prepped for the AC. Find our find our whoop whoop, and then Shane's kind of pre gaming here on the floor. And then we'll meet back in the middle somewhere. Rendezvous at Stark Man. <laughs> How's it been going so far? It's been going good. <laughs> Good morning, afternoon, all that jazz. Now, the dude Shane Dennis has is is a beast, and we have been working our butt off here over here at the shop. We're not, you know, I'm not able to film much just because we're in here, we're in here grinding, and I'm trying to get this work done. So 
I just wanted to show you where we ended yesterday. Uh, change the light up. So we got pretty much the whole ceiling put in, and we put the have. So we were tucking the havelock wool in as we were kind of paneling across, using the ceiling to hold it up. Um, we also got the subfloor in. So we have the kill mat, the foam board, and then OSB on top of that. And we just used, uh, we just used Liquid Nails Fuse It Max, which if you've seen in my last subfloor video, I used that Sikaflex stuff, worked amazing, but that stuff's like 20 bucks a tube. Uh, we used Gorilla Glue, it didn't bite, and this Liquid nail stuff worked. So I'm hyped about that. But today, the homie is gonna be in there, finishing that transition up there. I'm gonna cut the water heater in here, and then we're probably gonna set, set the shower pan, and then I'll probably sand and seal all the cedar. And I think that's gonna be it probably. I don't think it's gonna take that. Oh yeah, we're gonna do the flooring at some point. So, let's get into it. What's up, man? What's up, man? I use Rec Pro water heaters. I don't know, just kind of like them. They work great. And I have a discount code in the description if you want to go grab one. Filipinos out. Yo, everybody, I gotta show you this. Look what this man is up to right here. He's gonna be doing some kind of craziness up there on that transition. And I'm kind of hyped about it. We'll, we'll check in on him later and see what's going on, but let's get back to putting that water heater in, Mike. one we it's the end of the Shane Dennis week and homeboy just let's just peek in here look at this we're gonna go check it out in a little bit but basically when homeboy showed up it was just metal it was demoed everything was exposed I mean we kill matted the floor plugged all the holes dealt with the rust put a subfloor in it insulated the whole bus with Havelock wool. I was gone a whole day and Shane put all the wall stuff up. We sprayed the whole interior and then the ceiling. Look at that cedar. And then we'll go up there and we'll show you uh, what Shane did. Let's go check. Look at this. Let me get in here. Look at that transition. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, we also got this water heater installed, but check this out. This is where we ended for the week. And I'm gonna go show you the water heater. So while well, Shane was in there doing that transition all day, this stupid thing took all day. 
and we got it all sealed up and we'll get some paint on there later but that's a schoolie.com frame for the water heater and that's a rec pro water heater but I, fr I lost respect for how hard that job was dude honestly cutting through that metal where the seats are is is no joke all right, bro. How did you How did you enjoy your your week here? It was awesome, man. I had I had a blast. <laughs> <laughs> so Shane Shane just showed up for a tour. I was on vacation, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, bro, what do you think about helping me out for a week? I don't know what your plans are, but and he was, you know, Shane's a builder. I think I mentioned it in this video before. He just wrapped up a bunch of builds and then was kind of on vacation. And then he came over here and helped me with this and I'm grateful, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. It was fun. Yeah. So Shane Dennis, Dogwood Conversions. I'll put links to all his stuff down below. We weren't able to get super detailed with the filming because we were busy working. And that's going to be the end of this video right here. A lot happened. I'm super hyped. If this is, if you, if this is the first time on the channel and you like bus life, you like building, anything bus related, consider subscribing. If you've been a channel member here, I appreciate you guys showing up every single week. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. <laughs> so you're just going to hold it, make it look sexy. We're going to high five. <coughs> high five. Oh. What? What happened? Oh, never mind. Okay. What happened? I didn't know you were recording. Okay. <laughs>